has been three weeks since I kegged our West Coast IPA and today is the day. So we're gonna finally tap the keg and get some beer out of it and see what it's like. So we're gonna be using Party Style Deluxe Tap. Um, I'll show you how this goes on the keg, so don't worry about that. But basically, it operates using the default controls, the Dover Bowl Patch, runs off 16 gram CO2 cartridges. You can also get these in nitrogen. Um, it's not much difference, it just means you get finer, finer bubbles, finer froth on it. But um, that's what it runs off. So we'll attach a, a long tube to this now, which goes through the centre of the keg, and that will help support our beer out. Okay, so I'll get on with doing that now. So here's our tube. Quite simply, twists on the end of that, and that's pretty much it. So that'll go through the five litre of keg. This hole's there either side. That's so the gas can go in and um, pressurise the keg. So uh, this will make it be a last about a week, two weeks, probably a week. Yeah, probably a week. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do now. So um, I'll adjust the cameras and I'll show you how it goes. I'll sanitise this as well. So again, this is always what it's worth having your stuff hanging around. So I'll get this sanitised and then um, we'll get on with it. So yeah, we leave it, leave it for a fit. There we go. That's all it needs, just a bit of that. Okay, so just sanitize the top of that again. Sanitize the tap, because that's what's gonna have contact with the beer. And then quite literally, all we're gonna do, there's the center cap that I was telling you about. My hands are sanitized as well, so don't worry. Basically, just push that in. There we go. Just a little bit of an effort. Probably just for the noise, and all it does then, just like that. So that just locks onto the top of the keg, the top, sorry, the top of the keg, yeah, using someone else's teeth again. Um, and that's it, we're good to go. So there's your gas control nozzle, that puts the gas into it, pouring handle, and, and cartridge holder. So, let's get one out and see what it's like. Okay, so taps on, beer's ready. And we're ready to pour the first glass of the uh, beer off. It's worth mentioning that whenever you, whenever you do the first pour of a, of a keg or, or a pressure barrel, whatever you're using, the first glass you always pour off will always be mainly foam, um, just because the pressure is built up. Also, I brought this up from the garage earlier on today, so um, it's probably not going to be clear because I probably just do a lot of sediment that's in the bottom. So it'll be foamy and a bit sedimenty, but. Um, we we'll pour one off anyway, and then we'll just get rid of that, and then we'll pour off another one, and then uh, hopefully it should be clear. So here we go. Here goes the first one. Yeah, as I said, it's mostly uh, it's mostly foam. But we got rid of that. So we uh, put a bit of gas, a bit of gas in. Here we go, and then we'll top that glass up there. There we go, just like that. So there it is, there's the first one. So like I said, it's mostly, it's mostly film, isn't it? But uh, it's nice though, it's a good, good bit of carbonation in there. 25 finger head, but uh, it's clearing up the glass quite nice that is. So we'll uh, just let it settle for a bit. Um, it's not, yeah, as I, as I suggested, it's not clear because there's, um, I've mixed up the sediment a bit, but yeah, look at that, it's good. Um, Nice bubbles in it. Yeah, it's really, really good. I've waited long enough. Waited long enough. Three finger head on that. Hazy. Um, again, it's been in the garage. It's quite cold in my garage. All my cellar. Um, again, I've just stood some of the sediment in it, so it's not going to be clear. By tomorrow, that will be pouring uh, clear, clear beer. Um, but it's got good head, head retention. That's been there for about five minutes, as I'm not spending head at all, um, which I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, I'm not a beer reviewer.
be a drinker, not a reviewer. Um, yeah, smell the hops in it. Definitely smell the hops in it. Um, let's give it a go. Bottom go. Cheese, I thought it would be. Um, normally, when I've brewed beers, um, like the Mangrove Jacks series, um, I always add extra hops. So, this like 50 grams of a hop, I always add 50 grams more um, because I do like that dry hop taste that you get with it. I didn't do it with this because, as I said, um, excuse me, one sec, as I said, I would stick by the instructions and, and do it to the letter rather than messing around with it and, and sort of, you know, ruining a good a good recipe. Um, so it's not as punchy. So I put 30 grams of Summit Chinook and, um, can't remember the last one. It's Chinook. I'm not gonna look. It's Chinook, Summit, and Columbus. Columbus hops. So, yeah. What I can tell you, it's very smooth. It's very crisp. Um, it is hoppy, but not as hoppy as I'd like. I'd like a little bit more of a hop, hoppy punch from it. Oh, that's nice. That's nice again. Um, but no, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Yeah, it's, it's very drinkable. This will get better. Um, as it clears up more and, and gets a little bit more so room temperature it'll be it'll be a lovely beer it's, it's a lovely beer now so um, well done Muntins um, flagship beer is a bit of a winner um, so that was the, the West Coast IPA so I'm definitely definitely going to do a, another one of Muntins um, flagship kits 100% um, but yeah it's good like I say it's good head retention on that um Nice lace into the glass from the from the from the head of the beer. Just gonna pour another little drop. Oh, I always like to use a little doohickey on this. Um, saves your saves your drips. Ooh, he says as he flings up the uh, flings up the kitchen uh, TV. Just gonna rub a bit more out of that. Just to top the glass up a bit more. Pours lovely from here. There you go. So that's the deluxe tap working well. It's, this thing's great. So what I'll do, I'll put my uh, customised drip tray underneath that. There we go, and I'll put that under there. Yeah, the, the tap is great. This this thing is brilliant. Um, then if you're rugby fans like myself, <laughs> um, go around friends' house, um, and you've got some home group here, take as many cakes as you want, and get tap. And it's great because when I go there, you can just take that tap off and play it straight through here, straight, straight through uh, another one. Um, you can do it with a shop bought uh, kegs as well, uh, I've learned. Um, as I discussed in my other video, you can just take that rubber bung out, um, just vent it first so you don't want to take it out too soon because obviously there will be a little froth out of it so you vent it. But you can use these taps on, on normal shop bought kegs as well, uh, as well as on the kegs. But, um, Excuse me, but yeah, it's not too bad, it's not too shabby at all. Um, like I said, it doesn't look clear, but that's because I've disturbed it, and it's probably a little bit of beer chill as well because it's been in a cold area. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's nice, it's beautiful. Bottoms up, guys, and, and cheers. Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, that is good. So drinkable, and that's dangerous because this thing's seven percent, and it's quite drinkable. So. Hey, hey, hey. so yeah, that's it. So uh, this was Minton's flagship West Coast IPA. Um, I brewed it 
from start to finish. Um, I'll put the links for those videos up there somewhere. Um, that's where everyone does it. I'll put a link for the video up there, down there, or over there. Um, but yeah, so we went from the unboxing of the, the beer kit, going through the instructions, going through the equipment, uh, to finally the, ferment, the fermentation uh, process. And then once that process was over, the dry hopping, and then putting it into these awesome mini cakes um, and cut the bottles as well. Um, to finally the, the tasting of it. Um, yeah, that's, so that's it. I'm happy with that. I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope it's uh, been a bit of a help for you. I don't do it for like shares on and subscription, subscriptions and all that type of stuff. I do it just to help out really. Um, I'm a keen home brewer, just kits I know, but um, hopefully things are done and show how easy it is to do and how enjoyable it is and how little novelty things like this can make, you, make it even more worth it. So um, yeah, have a good day, have a good weekend or whatever you're doing and I'll catch you on the next brew. Take care.